Okay, here's my 2.3, still running strong. That little patch I put on that EGR, that pipe in the inside. Put a pipe in the inside of that thing. Finally sealed that up. I had to cut that because it wouldn't come, wouldn't break loose from the manifold when I put that head on. And so let's talk a little bit about belts. So you got a squeaky alternator belt. What happens is, I don't like to tighten these things up very tight. You can see the smog pump is pretty loose. Uh, if you can see that play in that belt, that belt, I don't like to have them too tight because what happens on this particular one, the water pump is right there, puts uh, pre pressure on the shaft of the water pump if these belts are too tight. <clears throat> so when you start to squeak and the belt is rel relatively tight, um, it's probably better just to get a brand new belt rather than try and tighten it up. And so what happens is the thickness, the width on this belt here, that will, if that width gets too far down and tightening that belt up is just, it's, it tends to put more pressure on the water pump basically. So your water pump will tend to go out faster. So that's why I just, you know, in a pinch you can tighten it up, but ideally you should replace the belt because this part of the the belt will wear thinner then you'll have to tighten it up and then you put pressure on the water pump and your water pump will go out faster so this one here I always put a magnet on the oil filter it, it holds um, it holds the uh, metallic particles out of the oil if you put a magnet on that oil filter and this one here what I did is uh, I had to change the, uh, the gear oil so this one, this is actually, this truck is probably about 20 years old. And uh, uh, it's basically a GM clone. Um, Isuzu and GM whatever married up and made this thing. And uh, these are the oil filler and oil drain plugs. And uh, this one actually takes 40 weight mortar oil whatever 1040 uh, weight motor oil. I've actually mixed in uh, a little bit of Lucas in there and so we got some good oil after I mean you know 10 years it's a good idea to change the oil in that gearbox and what you want to do is ideally you want to check to make sure that that top one you can get loose that's a one inch size right there and uh, you want to make sure that you can get that thing loose before you pull this bottom one and drain the oil because if you can't get that off uh, and you've already drained your oil then you got problems right so yeah that's a little tip for you and then I noticed I had this oil leak up here <clears throat> and it looks like it may be leaking yeah it's leaking from that it looks like it's leaking we can see the drip coming right off that it's that oil pressure sensor so that oil pressure sensor, it leaks. And so basically, it's sort of common for these things to leak. I've seen them leak before. And so, uh, yeah, so if you got a leak, you might want to check your little pan bolts to see if those pan bolts are loose. And then check that oil pressure sensor. If you got a leak right here in the center, you got a main seal leak, which is a major thing. Um, and you can see there's a magnet. I've got a hard drive magnet sitting on the bottom of that oil pan so that all the metal particles stay down there. And so that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. I also have this ground strap. So this is a ground wire. It grounds the body. Basically, it's my homemade ground strap. Um, so the car is always grounded. Uh, that poor muffler is on its last leg, but it, it's still doing the trick. And I'm going to need some tires here pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.